right now everything's looking good. Headers are free. Voltage clear. I'd really like to get that on the other side. But I think I gotta come down with some more. started with the motor mounts. Let's go down a little further. more noise. Let me show you guys what's going on here so far. Okay, so like I said this is this is Martin's kit. As you can see, if you can see that or not. See that motor mount? It's in. The headers are free. Okay, so that. That, that motor mount is in. And on the other side, you see, yep, that, that motor mount's in place. You can see that or not. That's in place. So, <clears throat> basically, I'm going to put the nuts on the motor mounts <coughs> and, uh, and um, and then I'm gonna drop the jack down a little bit, and um, pretty much it's home free. Well, just like that. So here's my. Here's my motor mount bolts. Stainless steel. Big big flange. Okay, there's the other one. Same thing. I'll put these on. And uh then uh I'm 
tilt the jack down so that I can get that uh, fuel line in place where I want it. <coughs> And then um, move the motor around to where it needs to be. Put my transmission on in there. transmission so I'm coming off the lift and the jacks holding the tail of the transmission off so now the motors gonna tilt down and that's gonna free up my fuel line so I can get it back behind the motor nope I, I can't do that because um, the car's not on the, on the lift all the way so ixnay on that can't do that. <clears throat> what I can do is I can come down with it. And uh, take all this off because I don't need it anymore. Pull the car the rest of the way onto the lift. That's what I'm going to do.
guess what? We got ourselves a, a V8 now and a Mazda Miata. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see. Headers aren't hooked up yet, but it's in. It's back in again. So, okay, so let's lift this car up in the air. <clears throat> First, I want to put the emergency brake on so the car doesn't roll off the lift. See if I can't get that fuel line where it needs to go. Right. I also got to get the transmission line where it needs to go. Kind of tucked it away here for. Safekeeping. I gotta, I gotta pull it out from under the intake manifold. There's one, there's my breather for the transmission breather. <clears throat> and uh, now I gotta pull out my transmission dipstick. Okay, so remember that bolt that I was telling you about? The back of the motor, if you don't have a real short one, you can't get it out. I'm going to be telling you that, right? So that's pretty much what i got to do right now. i got to get that bolt out of there. And so this drill line is in the way. Let me get that bolt out of there. Move it back to where it has been. I can't kind of get that away with it. Let's so get that bolt out of there. Mm. Now, if that bolt was any longer than what I showed you, I can get it out. Ask me how I know. There's a bolt. Chains off. Okay. <clears throat> so. Let's swap spots here. So I'm going to take that, my transmission dipstick and I'm putting it over here. there. like that. 
that is where it needs to be. Just like that. Okay. Phew. Let's get this thing up in here. I got got the tires right on the edge of the lift, so that's where it needs to be in order for it to be in the middle of the chain. <coughs> oh. Let's continue going up. What I what what do you do if your lift doesn't go up high enough so that you can stand underneath the car? Well, let me show you. You guys see that? You can't get a bottle jack in there, so you gotta use one of these. I think this might be the original jack to come with the car. Needs to go. 
it needs to go left, we're going to kick it to the left. I have it on this way. Looking at the tail shaft under here, I think it needs to go that way. So, let's get up here and take a look and see where it's at. Oh, it needs to go way back. It needs to only go back on one side. Get ourselves a bar. This looks like a bar. I want to pry the motor back a little bit. Lines up correctly. Oh yeah. That definitely has to go back. Jack has to come out the more you have to work. stop the camera because I'm gonna to have to split this video you guys have been watching a long time and I, I don't know I don't know how much I can put on uh, YouTube how long <clears throat> I can have the video go so, so I'm gonna stop it here and I'm gonna start it up again okay we'll see you in a minute okay I'm back <clears throat> I kind of want to show you them I'm talking about in the motor rounds See that bolt? See there's a rusty spot on that motor mount. So I gotta slide that motor uh, where it needs to be to be in line with the rust mark that the bolt made all those years. So that's kind of <clears throat> where I know it has to line up at. <clears throat> and once that's where it needs to be, these front motor plates go on. <clears throat> and they they get connected to the frame there. All right, you see that or not? <clears throat> so that's it. There's a quarter inch. It's a quarter inch plate right there. There's a quarter inch plate on the stainless steel plate on the bottom that's welded on the bottom of the car. <clears throat> and there's another quarter inch angle stainless steel angle iron that's welded to this part of the car and then the, the motor plates <clears throat> go from the from the head here to that <clears throat> flat plate and that angle iron that I welded to the body to keep the motor from rocking back and forth <clears throat> so I have to line the motor mount has to be perfect in order for my motor plates to work so I, I basically gotta <clears throat> work on uh, pushing the motor back so that's 
that's what's going to have to happen. Is nope, actually the motor has to go forward. Not back. The motor's going to have to go forward. So I got to work on pushing the motor forward. Now this side is almost almost lined up. So you can see that. See that? This side. This side is practically perfect. So that's telling me that the, the tail of the transmission has to get pushed to the driver's side in order to line up. And what that'll do is that'll line, that'll line up, that'll correct the uh, passenger side motor mount and the driver's side at the same time. So I'm just gonna push that tail shaft over to uh, to the driver's side, and that should uh, that should line up our motor mounts. That's all I'm gonna do. It slides around pretty easy. Cause I, I got the oh, motor mounts. I got grease on the motor mounts. So everything slides around pretty easy. So I'll put the pry bar there. I'm gonna get a little pry. Look at that. It, just, it slides so easy. It's, We're still going to go.
one side is good, I'm going to lock one side up and then move the other one around and kind of make, have, the, have the motor pivot. Right now it's like really close. Really, really, really close. So I'm I'll push the motor back just a almost less than a sixteenth. sliding around now. So oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Put it right on. Now I gotta take these suckers up.
think for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this just a little bit on the loose side. Now that I got it close, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it just a little bit loose. And then I'm going to put my transmission going on. I'll leave this one loose. And I'll leave this side loose. And now I'm going to put my transmission on. And um, as long as that transmission mount lines up, I know I'm holding. The headers are loose, not bound up. These headers are loose, not bound up. So now, I go get my transmission mount. Okay. So, anyways, we're <clears throat> we're getting there now. Anyways, I'm going to uh, go eat something, and I'll come back out, and um, we're gonna put that transmission mount in. All right, see you soon.